Now, you don't really approve of murder, Rupert. Think of the problems it would solve. Unemployment, poverty. poverty. <laughs> After all, murder should be an art. Civilized. Perhaps what is called civilization is hypocrisy. Along with bird lovers, small children, and tap dancers. <laughs> He's got it. Yeah. He knows. I'll take care of you. Rope is a 1948 crime noir thriller directed by Alfred Hitchcock, based on a play of the same name by Patrick Hamilton and adapted by actor and writer Hume Cronin and Arthur Lorenz. The film is based on the 1928 murder of 14-year-old Bobby Franks by teenagers Richard Loeb and Nathan Leopold, both from a wealthy neighborhood called Kenwood, situated on Lake Michigan in Chicago's south side. The subsequent trial for both men was labeled the trial of the century at the time, and the play and film based on the incident contained some striking parallels. For one, Leopold and Loeb both came from wealthy families possessed superior IQs, and shared a fascination in Frederick Nitschke's idea of Ubermensch or Superman, who, according to Wikipedia, are transcendent individuals possessing extraordinary and unusual capabilities, whose superior intellects allows them to rise above the laws and rules that restricts the unimportant average populace. To prove their immunity to the consequences that ordinary men are subjected to, Leopold and Loeb committed a series of small crimes at the University of Chicago, crimes that to their disappointment received very little attention. For this reason, they planned and executed the murder of Bobby Franks to validate their belief that they were superior individuals. Rope is Hitchcock's second limited setting film, with his first limited setting film being 1944's Lifeboat. Rope is also Hitchcock's first film shot in Technicolor. But the film is best known for being shot as a stage play in seemingly one continuous shot. Actually, the film is composed of 10 takes of up to 10 minutes each that are stitched together by zooming in on walls and characters' backs to hide the cuts. Another unique element in Rope is the cityscape of the large window, which is the largest background cyclorama ever used on the soundstage at that time that used the slow transitioning from day to night as symbolic references to the story's three themes, shame, fear, and vanity. David's life is reduced to that of a chicken, an animal raised on a farm and eaten by humans who are considered superior. Like a chicken, David is viewed as unimportant and something unworthy of remorse, which may be why Philip goes along with Brandon to murder David, thinking that doing so will be easy, but it doesn't turn out to be the case for Philip, who has to deal with his conscience and the fear of being caught. Philip does the actual strangling, which is why when he asked Brandon how he felt killing David, Brandon felt good because he didn't get his own hands dirty, but the hands of someone else and an artist at that. Another theme is the window. The window plays a crucial role in showing the nature of good and evil as it pertains to light and dark. Crimes such as murder are usually committed at night to avoid detection, but in this film, the murder is done in the daytime to represent Brandon's vanity. The darkness of the window represents the darkness of our souls that we don't want anyone to see and what comes out of this darkness under the right circumstances. Brandon's philosophical justification that murder should be the right of superior individuals is the ideal circumstance that frees Philip from any inhibition blocking him from expressing a deep sickness within him, a sickness he shows by wringing the necks off of chickens. This sickness is an urge he has no control over, but his reactions after he murders David are remorse and fear, human reactions. But Brandon feels no remorse for the murder. Light doesn't bother him like it bothers Philip, and he opens the cycloramic window to let the whole world see his masterpiece. 
The light coming through the window coincides with the discovery of their crime and other secrets of their past, including Philip's violent tendencies that he releases on the chickens at the farm. At the beginning of the party, the sky through the cycloramic window is powder blue. However, as the evening progresses and Rupert Cadell, played by James Stewart, begins to question Richard, the window dims, and by the time Rupert discovers David in the chest, the window is completely dark, creating the perfect condition for the truth about David's murder to come to light. The light and darkness of the window also coincides with the truth about Janet and Kenneth's breakup. At the outset of the party, the audience is led to assume that she dumped him. However, at dusk, right before the window becomes dark, it is revealed that Kenneth dumped her. So, as in the case involving David's murder, darkness coincides with truth and secrets. Rope is my second favorite Hitchcock film behind Lifeboat. This dude doesn't need a lot of time or room to get the job done, unlike most of today's directors, who think that everything they do needs three hours minimum and a zillion locations. Rope is stripped down filmmaking, with nothing for the director or actors to hide behind like CGI, explosions, profane language, or sex. Great film if you haven't seen it, and if you call yourself a filmmaker, shame on you if you haven't seen this film. Want to know how to shoot a stripped down film? See Rope and have your pen and notepad out to take notes. If you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, and most importantly, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel for more quality reviews such as this one. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.